Hey everyone. Today I want to talk about the recent Israeli strikes on Iran and how they're shaking things up. Tensions are high, and the vibe in Iran is definitely not normal. Following Israel's retaliatory strikes, there's a deep sense of uncertainty and anxiety gripping the nation. Iranians from all walks of life are feeling the weight of this situation. Imagine trying to sleep through the night, only to be jolted awake by the sound of explosions. It's no wonder people are on edge. But amidst the fear there's a mixed bag of reactions. Some Iranians see a silver lining. They note that the strikes targeted military installations sparing civilian areas. This has given a few people a glimmer of hope, thinking maybe, just maybe, this could lead to de-escalation. On the flip side, Iranian officials and state media are downplaying the attack. They claim the damage was limited and that most of the attacks were intercepted by their air defense systems. This move is all about maintaining calm and projecting strength. But let's be real, the average Iranian is feeling the tension big time. There's a stark contrast between what the government says and what people are experiencing on the ground. This disparity highlights the political dimensions of the conflict and the government's effort to control the narrative. Meanwhile, the international community is watching closely, urging restraint from both sides. The United Nations has called for an immediate ceasefire, and neighboring countries are closely monitoring the situation. The fear of a wider regional conflict is very real. What's clear is that this situation is deeply complex. The Iranian government is balancing its support for the Palestinian cause with the potential risks of a wider conflict. Public opinion in Iran is divided, with some calling for direct intervention and others advocating for diplomatic solutions. In this climate of fear and uncertainty, the hope for a peaceful resolution remains. The coming days will be crucial in determining how this conflict unfolds and its implications for the region and beyond. So stay tuned, stay informed, and let's hope for a swift and peaceful resolution to this crisis. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on this developing story.